and the Bible talks a lot about shepherds. So I, when we moved to Nashville, one of the things the Lord spoke to me, I've been a worship leader for about 18 years out in Kansas City, and I felt the Lord say, I have too many kids with guitars and not enough shepherds. Would you get off of the stage and raise some up? Well, okay, why do I have to step off a stage to do that? And I felt like the Lord was saying, because I need you to become like one of them. I need you to come in with them, but I'm not asking you to correct those people and say, well, you should be playing guitar. He's saying, I need you to give them permission to no longer just look at the music, but look in people's eyes again. So the, the issue for me with worship leaders is a lot of times they're so focused on what they would consider worship to be, which is the music, that they forgot the ones they're supposed to be leading. It's actually about leading, not about just that worship aspect. It's about being a leader. And so leaders then, the, the practical side of that for me is like as we start to honor each other as pastors, pa and mine is music, I've got a senior pastor who's the leader, then I start to look at myself as like, I need to learn how to shepherd, which means I'm gonna be consumed with through the week. How do I take care of my team? Jesus had 12, you know, that's what he had. So like most of your worship teams are probably not that much bigger than 12. So I need to learn how to start shepherding them and how well I shepherd them will be a good view of how I'll take care of the rest of the church. If I can't take care of that 12 as a small worship team, no way I'm gonna be able to do it for our church because I'm not even proving with the little that I've been given. God's not gonna let me be, you know, if those who are faithful with little will be given much. I love that uh, shot, actually. Amen. <laughs> Sincere in their faith, no.